Welcome, welcome, Space Junkies. Are you here to see the train game? Welcome to TPM Gaming. I'm Van Dam. We're going to be streaming in the afternoon here. Not as much time as I would like, but we're going to get a few hours out of it, boys. Let's play a little bit of the Star Rail. Who's talking to us today? Herda. Curious information. Self uh, ASAP. It is part of it. Okay. Self report form. Fill this in. ASAP. System safety alert. System has detected unusual sign and activity of the user. Be sure to protect your personal information. Do not transfer money to them. System has blocked the link for you. Please stay vigilant and verify the user's true identity before taking any action. Uh, the link is blocked. I can't open it. Did you log into your account in a strange place? What? Oh, give me a second. I have a system. System's interception is always triggered at the wrong time. Never mind, it's just some of your personal information anyway. I'll ask Kimiko to fill it out for you. Uh, don't send it to others. What do you want my personal information for? That kind of information can't be shared with others. What do you panic about? I have no use for it. <laughs> what a goof. Alright, boys. <clears throat> oh, it is a Thursday. It's gotcha Thursday. And we're playing uh, Star Rail instead of Tower Fantasy. So it won't be a Tower Fantasy video up this week, but we will return because we're getting near the end of the game. And of course, you can tell we're trying to get to the end of this game. It's going to take a lot longer. This game is a lot uh, newer and bigger. I'm a lot further back than in Tower of Fantasy, but that's what we play for. We're playing to get through a story and experience the story of the game. As you can see now, we're level 20. <clears throat> and with being level 20 in this game, um, we've had no use for Savarog. We've had no use to go up any more levels. We did have to level up because we got to fight Savarog. Now, I almost beat him straight up on Glass Cannon. Um, so I want to try again. If I can do it, cool. If I can't, fine. Uh, I have a healer now and I have a... Um, a shield. So, we're going to try... Maybe one or two attacks, glass cannon style. I want to see if I can do it. That's all. Okay, we saw this in the last one, so we're going to try to skip it. I don't think no matter what choice I make... What's this do up here? Oh, okay. Just a recap. <clears throat> I don't think I can... Oh, I can skip. Okay. All right. All right, boys. Let's try some... Attacks. Oh. Well, that sucked. Well, there goes that. Okay. So. I want to try. How are we going to do this? It's all going to depend on who hurts them the most here. She is the, the thunder. And I want her to... Let's blast them. <clears throat> It does hurt him. Uh, we'll single target him first. That's not a good start. Let's see how he hurts me. I did good the last... Oh, man. This is not going so well. I really, really got him good. Um, the first time we fought him. So I was hoping with the increased levels... Uh, who's after her? Her? That we would have a better chance. <clears throat> but it may not be quite the case. Oh, she's still the coolest. I love that guitar. She's so badass. <clears throat> what I might have to do is for my first round get everybody up to buff because he's going to kill someone here yeah hmm 
I remember he takes somebody too a little bit later. Is <clears throat> that? Oh, this is where she comes in. Okay. We have both them too. We can use them later on. Oh, we do get fixed back up. Okay, maybe that's what it was. Let's try. Who do we want to really buff the shit out of? I'm going to do Kuru Kuru. Let's try... We're going to blast him first. Alright. Now I want to... It's going to be her next anyway, so let's get this in. Well, I still have it. Wham! Okay. I still don't feel this is going as well as it did before. I get a damage buff before that, so we're just going to single target him. Uh, single target. Now her... No, it's the damage buff is after. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Well... Looks like we're going to need the healer or the shield guy. Yeah. Item way down better in the uh, in the first fight. Who are we going to support? We're going to support her. Even though she's after. Whoa, that was a lag. Alright, this sucks because this guy could grab anybody. I don't know who he's going to grab. <clears throat> Uh, oh, not Kuru Kuru. Damn it, I need her. So now the choice is, do we do we pop away at him? Or do we pop away at this? All right. Um. Mm, I know. I hate it, boys. Uh, first, we're gonna. Who are we gonna boost? We're gonna boost her. <clears throat> Alright, he's gonna beat the shit out of us right now. Shoot your missiles or shoot your laser gun. Okay. That does nothing to her, who cares? Um. I'm gonna have to. All right, do we have her back? I think we have her back. So, single target, I might as well try to destroy his hand, correct? Oh, or do we, hold on. Let's get a free, let's get a free attack in here. Very good, very good. Oh, free Kuro Oh, that would have got him. Would have got him. I got to use this. I have to kill the hand. Unfortunately, I do. All right, so we're on Kuro She's got nothing but single target. Now we can buff. Well, if I buff her, though, do I get to play? No, I don't. I have to attack first. Shit. <clears throat> I do. Yeah, I gotta attack first. Uh, single target. I got him 35. This isn't going to do anything. He's going to really run us here in a second. Um, so I'm going to buff her for the extra bonus. Oh, he's shocked. I just realized. <clears throat> That's going to hurt. Who's he going to kill? Oh, he killed how many? Three or two? He killed two. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. She's still buffed. Let's do it. Oh, he comes right back up, doesn't he? Let's Kuro Kuro. Man. Giant today, boys. <clears throat> We're still around the same of the 30%. I'm going to have to have a, a doctor or a shield. It's just too powerful. We're straight up glass cannon at 20. <clears throat> Pardon me. That's all I got. That's it. 
21%. That's as close as we got. 20%. And then he's got the hand. Oh, he's missile bombing. We done? Oh, we got one more hit. Unless the hand grabs me. Uh, last hit. 18%. Not bad, not bad. Glass cannon try. We did all right. That was all right. Man, I really want to get it that way, but that's going to be tough. We're going to try... Uh, we're going to have to try a healer. Let's try a different group setup here, boys. Let's try. Okay, so... I want to do... Who are we going to take out here? The only thing I can think... We're going to have to take out either the buffer... Um... Guys, I want the damage. Definitely need her for the follow-up attacks. Um... Hmm, this is a tough one. Very, very tough. So let's do... Obviously me. Uh... My Kuro Kuro. I need an electrical girl. And let's find... What's, who's the healer? This one? That's Natasha. She's the healer. Okay, let's try her. Enable the team. Okay. Now... What level is the healer? Healer's got to be up to snuff here, boys. Is she leveled up? Alright, she's 30th. What's her snow cone at here? Uh, outgoing healing increases. That's what I want. Auto add. Let's make it good. She have any available relics? Oh, she did. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't know where I got those, but <clears throat> who cares? Yes. All right. I think we got it. Let's go. Let's go give her a go. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Me. Oh, Mr. Riff's here. Doesn't like Natasha. Well, this is Natasha. I'm back, Severag. For your ass. Gets me right off the start, eh? I guess it's okay, because they give me that, um... What the hell? I'm trying to log in here, boys. Give me a second. There we go. Alright. Okay. Got some. Okay, we're back. So, this was just free damage before he kills me. Let's do some single target. We're not going to be able to be buffed, so we're not going to be able to get a lot of damage like I want. But we're going to have to look at this healer here. So, she's our healer. We have restore. And we have single target, eh? So, let's... We don't need to try the restore because we know we're auto going to come back up. So, let's just get some damage in. I did jack shit. Okay. Remember that. Extra action. Single target blast him with electrical. Uh, who's up next? Healer. Okay. I'm going to try the heal then. Alright, let's practice the heal here. Mm, it's not that good, but... I mean, it's better than zero. Oh, it's just auto. It doesn't matter if we died. Okay. All right, so the two people come in, we get healed, we're back. It's gonna burn me. All right, okay, so we're starting out. Let's see how we wanna do this here. So we have no damage buff, but we can do, uh, let's do some smashing anyway. Here we go. Wham. Kitty Crystal. Okay, so that was her bonus, her main. Um, let's do my bonus. My main. 
we go to the healer next, so... Alright. Hit him. Uh, we're gonna he... What's her ultimate? Let's see what her ultimate is. Gift of Rebirth. Is that... Bring somebody back who's dead? It might be. I'm not 100% sure, but... Hey, our setup's different. This is the order I put people in. Let's see what happens. I like how it zoomed in on our booba there. Blows up a teddy bear. Oh, it's healing. Okay, it's mass healing. Okay. Um, her own turn's kind of a waste. Yeah, she doesn't do anything. Okay. We're gonna give him the ban. AoE heal. And her regular attack. Alright, now is he gonna hand? Yeah, he's gonna hand. Okay. Uh, missiles. Laser beam? No. And he grabs a healer. <laughs> what a shit show. Alright, whatever. Here we bash. Uh single target bash I'm doing nothing no damage no damage she's the only one that can do the damage and it's not enough he'll probably kill us before the hand even releases the healer I'm going to imagine she may as well do AoE because she has no ability to do increased damage she has no ability to do any increased damage this might be a waste yeah, this is gonna be boring. We're not even close. In the last round with Glass Cannon, we got him down in one one round. So he kills her. She's gone. She's the only one who has the electrical to damage that thing. I think the healer's worse. I think the glass cannon was better. I got him down to 17%. Hmm. We're going to try a different way after this. We'll try the... Uh, what's his name? We'll try the uh, shield guy. This is absolutely useless. I can't do enough damage to get the guy down. Don't think that counts if she's down, so we gotta bring her up to health. Uh, oh, I get a full... There we go. Oh, that did not restore her. So, oh, she's dead dead. She cannot come back. Hmm. Missiles. Hand. Healer again. Oh, he just kills the healer. Okay, my bad. We're not even close. We're at 48%. We got the 17 with glass cannon set up. Ah, this is garbage. Note to self, Natasha, garbage. All right. Can't do anything. Don't have any power. Don't have any any buff for damage. <laughs> Can we fast forward this? There we go. Junk. 30%. Nope. Healer's crap. Alright. Let's try a different route. Okay. Not gonna work. So. Let's get rid of her. And let's get... Who was the main shield guy? This guy? Let's add him in. 
Let's see if we have enough to level them up. Hopefully, we do. Let's see if we have enough to level them up. Hopefully, we do. Let's see if we have enough to level them up. Hopefully, we do. Let's see if we have enough to level them up. Hopefully, we do. Let's see if we have enough to level them up. Hopefully, we do. Let's see if we have enough to level them up. Hopefully, we do. Let's see if we have enough to level them up. Hopefully, we do. Let's see if we have enough to level them up. Hopefully, we do. Let's see if we have enough to level them up. Hopefully, we do. Let's see if we have enough to level them up. Hopefully, we do. Let's see if we have enough to level them up. How's this light going doing? Can we enhance this more? Level 20. Full relics. Alright, let's try this. Here we go, here we go. But the stats don't lie, sir. I got them to 17% with a glass cannon team, and then I only got them to under 50 with a healer team. So, no good. She is no good. Hopefully this guy will help us. Let's see how he does. He has 700 hit points. That's cool. I'm going to single target blast him. Alright. This is the free round. Get some damage deck. Okay, let's see what he has here. So we have a single target. We have two single targets. Oh, he's got the guitar case. That's awesome. Okay, and he's right next to her. Cool. Um... I don't know which each does yet, 100%. So, let's look at... We're going to do the fist because we're doing damage right now. I'm going to assume that's damage. That was absolute garbage. What did he do? 60 damage? Well, he's not an attacker. We know that. He's, a, he's, our, he's our healer, man. Or our shielder. So, we don't expect him to do damage. Um... I think it goes to him after. Let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, you keep rushing him before leveling light codes from 20 to 30, and you can level up gear. I tried leveling up gear, actually, in the last time I played. It didn't give me an option. Well, it did give me an option, but I didn't have any items to level it up. Uh, our light cones should all be full. I believe they are. Okay, so he gets a free attack right off the bat. I'm gonna go first because I'm a sh I'm uh, gonna guess this supplies the shield. Everybody's shielded. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna use her bonus. Oh, were they twenty thirty? Wait, his light cone was twenty thirty. I thought I just ascended or just fold his light cone. Unless I didn't have any points to go up further. We'll check. We'll check again. I could have swore I'd just put him at full. Alright, single target. We're gonna do this. Oh, I forgot to hit ascend? Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, well, we'll get it again if we don't get this. I So far, he's playing better than the healer. I like the defense buff. Now, we're not going to do this. This is stupid. Because uh, it doesn't do anything for him. This, we're going to do. Let's try it. That's a little better. Okay. Alright, hands up. Don't grab the freaking shield guy. Who's he grabbing? Yeah, you can grab her. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Okay, so so far so good. Let's see. We want... How do we play this, boys? Ooh, how do we play it? I'm going to do AoE. I want to get both. I got him good. Okay, I got him good. See, that was useless. Okay. Um... Shit. I gotta get her out of the hand. He's coming out. Let's do it. Alright, let's do it. Oh, I didn't do what I wanted. Okay. Oh, nice. So you hit him. Can I interrupt that? I can't interrupt his turn, eh? Oh, I can. Oh, shit. I didn't realize. Alright, let's buff before that hand. 
しこの志し朽ちることはない Rebuff. What do I have? I have nothing. This will get him, though. This will get the hand. Okay. Alright, hands. No good. Um. I do that. Ooh, I don't think either one's gonna help me in this case. You could also level traces, talent points. Oh, let's check that out too. Traces, eh? No, I think my trace. Oh, I didn't check his traces. You're right. I got hers. Oh, the hand's still up. All right, bombs incoming. Um, go over here. Let's try that. Maybe I'll get rid of the hand. All right, hand gone. I might as well do this. It's not going to do much, but. Oh, it froze him. <laughs> Electrical freeze. Critical. Nice. Okay, that was cool. Okay. All right. I like that. Smash him. Oh, free. <laughs> Jump in there for the free hit. Uh, this is a big one. Okay, so this, and we gotta endure the assault and probably the hand. Here comes the missiles. Nope, fire beam. Oh, no hand. Okay, no hand, no hand. No hand. Way better, okay. Let's see if I can get that freeze again. Get that freeze. Oh, he resisted. Okay. Shit. He goes again. Okay. And we don't have the defense. Well, we have a little bit of defense, but not enough. Let's hit him with this. Oh, the hand's up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who's he grabbing? Oh, shit. Whoop. No. Let me go before the hand. Oh, we got her again. Good. <laughs> That worked kind of perfect, didn't it? Alright, we're in a better position here, boys. Let's... Ooh, this is tricky. Do you go for the hand to get her free, or do you go for the all-out balls on him? Oh! I'm good. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Wham! Oh, I get a free. Get a free. Weem. There we go. 11%. Oh, ho, ho. we're doing way better. This guy's awesome. Okay. All right. Got to be careful. We got so many turns left. Freeze him. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, she's back. Oh, shit. Oh, 6%. Oh, but he goes next. I have no interrupt. Shit. This is gonna do nothing. Mm, go for the AoE. Fuck it. Oh, 5%. Oh, interrupt. Oh, what? He dies at 5? Oh, did the freeze kill him? Nice. Oh, there's a... Uh... Oh, she's gonna kill him. Please don't hurt Mr. Sabriag. He's my bestest friend. <laughs> Clara, you... Mr. Sabriag can't fight anymore. Please don't hurt him. Uh-oh, robot. 
Mr. Sabrag, don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you know? Oh. Mr. Sabrag, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. Just like a family. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness. Even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful, people still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Murder everyone. Variable 1. Keras request. Variable 2. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transcendence of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. Wow. So you guys did it? Um, our strength has been recognized. Although if Clara hadn't been there, Severag would still never have granted us access to the intel, right? Even up to the end. I hope his memory bank really does contain all the data on the Stellaron, or this was freaking pointless. Is this it, Nat? Asked Wildfire of the Underworld, did we win? No, we lost. And my necklace is ridiculous. Our battle, their battle, is just beginning. Consider this chapter one. Jeppy's light cone and traces. Once they're done talking. <laughs> 25 stream streak. Holy shit. Awesome. Mr. Riffs is here for 25 in a row. That's sickness, boys. <laughs> Baronia! I forgot about her. Finally, finally, we made it to this point. What's up? Nervous? No, but I do have an aching feeling in my chest. It's Stan Hung. <laughs> uh, the truth can be heartbreaking. It's up to you to make your own judgment about who's lying now. Hmm. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. Half, half the Wizard. What the hell does that mean? Half the Wizard of Oz. Okay, nobody's here. We're all alone. Severog. I have finished calculating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed, outsiders? No. Recording, requesting database mineral cache, serial number something, encryption level highest. He's a tin man. Request approved transmission. Oh shit, who is this? Oh, I like that. Look at that code on her, boys. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Alice, Alyssa Rand activated this thing and triggered the internal freeze. It's the truth, Madam. The truth won't change the op opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious results of painstaking effort on the part of Beelobong's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute, or resolute in the fact of this conclusion. From the moment I took this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to our research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless what? Please proceed, Madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Ooh, cash number something. Transmission complete. Next transmission, cash number another. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research away? They're the work of a lifetime. How do I get this job? <laughs> You're still young, child. There will come a day, a day when you do understand. The Supreme Guardian, she she sees rather than you or I. All her decisions are for the security of Billabong. Oh, I just think it's a shame. Her research is such an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. 
Just like my dog. Don't be upset, child. You still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy... Ugh, dying. Destroy the Stellar and her office. Efforts will have been worth it. Me. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Yet another one. Ooh. Who's this one? This is why... Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mirashima's personal robot guardian. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. You remember that war, don't you? Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I found them. All the documents are here. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find some... To someone to reset its system and then arrange for it to be sent to the underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Hi. I'm sorry, Doctor, but these results must be taken care of by the architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out at your behest. Hmm. Concluding data transmission. That better not be fucking it, because he never told me jack shit. Uh, no it's not. We were getting information on the Stellaron. There was a bunch of people doing garbage-ass paperwork. Mm. Putting minor details aside, this is the conclusion. Eminent individuals, not to mention the Guardian herself, knew early that the Stellaron was the source of disaster for this world. Yeah, no kidding. But in order to maintain the peace, they decided to hide the truth. Secret research detailing a method for destroying the Stellaron ended in failure. Now only one question remains. Why would uh, Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Bronya, are you okay? I'm fine, I just feel a little faint. Hmm. <clears throat> why, mother, why? Maybe she wasn't aware, maybe she... I'm sorry, it's no use lying to yourself. Bronya, it's time for you to make a decision. Can I have a word with you? I know that we need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Can we talk to everybody? At daybreak, the Guardian shall be a glittering star, illuminating the people's path. At night, the Guardian shall be a flickering flame, comforting the people's soul. So many years have I been following lies this whole time. Hey, maybe you should find someone to talk to. Huh? Don't let it get you down. You can share your feelings with others, you know. Do you think keeping it all to yourself is any good? You let that status of yours go to your head, huh? Afraid to show weakness. That's why you're keeping so much bottled up inside, right? This isn't the overworld. We don't have... We don't do envy and etiquette down here. Whatever's on your mind, you can say it. I just want to be clear in myself. These fragments of history, the teachings of studies, it's all muddled together in my mind. I just don't know what I should believe. No, you just have to be clear on what you should do. You spent long enough living in lies. Bronya, this is your chance to break out of the cage. Huh? Alright, so she's a dumb native. We're from outer space. We tell her there's a magical thing killing our world. She don't believe it till we fight a robot. And he tells us that uh, somebody did paperwork. And they tried to uh, destroy it. But they failed, apparently. Let's go talk to, uh, see if we can get your part here. Haha, <laughs> or sample. Why do you think he's the part? How's it going, partner? Is that feeling in your chest the thrill of victory or just the joy of making it out alive? 
I know your heart is bursting with gratitude, but there's no need to thank me. We have what I'd like to call a fiscal friendship. If the money's right, not a problem in sight. Um, you seem to enjoy making trouble. Hey now, you got me all wrong. I just enjoy watching people fight, that's all. Fierce words, flying fists. What's not to like? Troublemaking bastard. Easy there, don't get mushy on me now. We professional types don't have time for thank yous. It's business feelings. Don't come into it. You see, gotcha. Seriously though, Sampo will always be happy to assist you. Alright, Sampo. <laughs> Troublemaker. Alright, so now we get the nurse. What's she gonna do? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we do it. Because it's gonna lead us off into something. Let's claim some points here, boys. Alright, we got some points. Ooh, we're gonna change this real fast. Because I don't want to waste EXP. Oh, what did that say? Hold on, let's go down. I should have read that. Shows me the ones I beat, right? Completed, yeah. My heart lies with the stars. Nope, that's old. Okay. Half of the Wizard of Oz. Defeat the Tin Man and the Little Girl. I defeated the Little Girl. So now we have to fight, what, a, a lion and a scarecrow? <clears throat> Interesting. Can't wait to see that. Very Interesting. The furnace core, the path to the surface, is close at hand now. Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Now we have to wait and see, but maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Uh, when did doctors start carrying weapons? Yeah, that's what I want to know about it. Uh, I haven't been truthful with you. I'm not a doctor at all. I've been giving you placebos. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? See, the real chief? What about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I'll do my best to make sure they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Severok. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted, yet rudimentary plan. And for that, you have my utmost thanks. Hmm. More tangible. Any monies? Any money stock? You have Wildfire's full support. No, no, no. I want their full wealth. However, even though Savarog is no longer sealing off the furnace core, there's no way that we, the undergrounds could go pouring into the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the underground. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might do. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength and overthrow the Queen. Uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to do it alone. Of course, there's no doubt about that. So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Seal. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very disconcerting. And can read a situation like no one else. Uh, Seal is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you, not to mention. You also have Bronya now. Mm. All ten bucks. <laughs> She's got more than that. Look at her. Look at her mud. Give her that necklace. Oh, I read that wrong. I thought she had a big something or other. Okay. You're right, but Seal, with Seal at her side, I know she'll recover. When's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Savarog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Corps for now. Head back and recuperate. <laughs> if you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the overworld. Yuck! Gross! Get that stupid pom-pom out of there. All right. Ugh. Vomit. All right. I saw something I wanted. I don't even care if this is correct. 
I'm doing that. I got one, two, three. Where's four? I want all four. I want them all. I want her whole thing open. Her Edelons. I'm almost there. I want to get to six. I've been collecting those. All right. Go to Jallo for Boulder Town. Everybody's just going to hang out here. Several still hurt. Um, I haven't technically gone there or there, have I? Yeah, I want to go look around here first. What's over here? Ah, haha! -ha. Basic treasure. Don't mind if I do. What did I get? A letter to all the furnace core. I keep forgetting where to. No, oh, wrong one. Uh, I think it's this one. It's funny that these come up as new, but the other ones do. A letter to all the furnace core. Where is that? Uh, aha! There it is. Let's see what this says. A letter to all of furnace core base. To all the members of the furnace core research station. Greetings! I am Klinova, the fourth head of Geomer Development Group. When the Eternal Freeze approached the past, in the past, the Geomero stores on the surface were immediately consumer, consumed. Under the command of the Great Guardian, Alisa Rand, humanity began to march towards the unknown deep underground. That was when Geomero Development Group was created with our great mission. If the Bellabong historians were to write a record of Geomero Development, they would likely start from that time point. However, the truth, truth was that another group uh, was pioneer of pioneering explorers had dug underground before us, and the arrival of the Eternal Freeze was long after them. The Supreme Guardian made the Geomero Development Group an important organization under the command of the Architects. Our job is to always dig deeper and maintain a flow of Geomero to the surface so that Billabong can function. But apart from digging for Geomero, we have a more important mission to create a subterranean ecosystem. I have only heard about the sites in the underground from my father's letters. I could not tell what was real amongst his passionate and exaggerated descriptions. And yet, when I had actually had the chance to join the group and start exploring, I finally discovered the things he said were no illusions. The group and I discovered a final unsent letter when we were sorting out his belongings. He wrote, Nova, I had never mentioned this to you, but I spent my childhood in the mountains far beyond or far from Billabong. At the time, I felt the entire world belonged to me and I could go anywhere I wanted. However, after the Eternal Freeze arrived, children of your generation never left Billabong. I thought perhaps we will discover oceans, mountains, uh, all underground. Perhaps in the future, we can also live underground. I really hope I can see that day together with you. I kept all of the letters he sent me, including this one. I remembered his wish, and I know I must fulfill it. With the Furnace Core Research Station as a base, we will keep excavating geomeral mines at the end of this year, we will formally establish the first underground mining town. That is, however, only the first step. I hope more towns will appear underground in Billabong in the future, and we might even build cities as beautiful as the overworld. We might even connect all the regions above ground and underground using train rails, so the old world and the new world will not be separated. At the time, we will no longer have to crouch in tiny shelters to evade the snow, and we'll find where we truly belong in this world. At the same time, the historic, historical mission of the group is about to come to an end. The information we gathered will all be used to explore in the future, including our geological, mineralogical, and biological data, including the knowledge of flora, fauna, and microorganisms. As of now, most of us will temporarily return to our respective institutes for science research. But personally, I will definitely return to the underground after I retire in a few years. Therefore, there is no need to feel sad for the coming farewell. Simply wait till the Supreme Guardian renovates his place into the first transport channel connecting above and below. The small furnace core base will be completely changed and continue to shine for the mission of underground exploration. Until that time, our friend Big Savarog, Big Savarog will protect this place for us, so the traces we leave behind won't disappear. We know that though he doesn't talk much, he has always protected us with great loyalty. I believe he will keep his promise this time as well. He's our best compatriot. Everything but the beginning has an end. Now is the time to say goodbye. I salute you, the Geomero Geo Development Group, and all the members of the Furnace Corps Research Station. 
Planova. All right, so that's pretty cool. I like that. That was neat. Can I go in here? No. It's just for the letter and the treasure. Okay. There's Big Sav. <laughs> Why do they call you Big Savarog? Yeah. Wham! We can go down or we can go up. Mm. Let's go down first. Left safe zone. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, we got some Sneed and some credits. Oh. Uh, hit him. Let's do a little fight. I want what's behind him. Oh, shit. There's a lot of them. Um, I should have got my attack group on. Let's do this first. All right. It'll be fun. What level are these guys? I didn't even look. Boom! Did that hurt him at all? Probably not. Oh, that got him. Okay. Where's my Kuro Kuro? There it is. Did he hurt me? Eh, he hurt me. Okay. Oh, barrier, eh? Putting shields on, boys. Hmm. All right. Let's do this first. Is this AOE? I forget. Or single target. I'm going to AOE it. Wham! Got rid of one. Yeah, I'll use it. Not going to do much. That's okay. Um... Yeah, blast him. Oh, and I got that. And we're going to do it again. That's awesome. Jeffy's level ups. Oh, shit. Blood of Newt. Always do it. Don't forget Jeffy's level ups. Okay, I got to do a level. Oh, how come the sub thing didn't come up? Man, I logged in. I got my... My dashboard's up. Well, thank you, sir. Poor Jeppy. Half as good as he could be. <laughs> We're going to get him up. Mr. Riffs with the sub for... Ooh, T3. Madman, you're a madman. Very, very much appreciated. And good choice today on uh, Star Rail over um, Tower of Fantasy. Tower of Fantasy is really, really good, but... I don't need this. I got one enemy left, but we're going to do it anyway. What? We got to get somewhere in uh, Star Rail, boys. Battle over. Oh, I got an achievement. What did I get? Hold on. Wait a minute. Before you chase me down. Hold on. Hold on. First Jeppy. All right. So I, what did I miss? No, I got that. Light cone? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay, now he's good. There we go. Okay. What's his relic? He had the good relics. He's got the good ones we got from beating the, the main part of the game. Uh, oh, it's, I thought I had his traces up. Oh, no, I got everybody else but him. Okay. Because he was newer. I got him last, I think. There we go. All right, he's up. Yeah, we don't need anything else from him. I don't believe. I wonder what that achievement was, boys. What did we get? Nice. Achievement, achievement! What did we get? Overprotective. Oh, they're taking any damage. Okay. Alright, what does he say here? Can you level relics? So, originally I looked. Let me double check. I did only look at her hat. There was a hat. I went like this. Oh, I can. Okay. I couldn't before. Probably because I didn't have these. Because I was making sure that everybody on the team 
had relics. So if anybody didn't have a relic, yeah, like that. See, I was popping them in just so everybody had gear. And once they all have gear, I didn't have any left to use as materials to actually then up the relics. So if I go back, for example, to her and I go to the hat, I try to enhance it. There's nothing to add. That's why I haven't had enough stuff. So I'm just making sure everybody on the team has relics first before I start to level relics. I don't have materials for them yet, but I will. We got to open more chests. We got to get more things. Now, originally I was doing pure story. And by doing pure story, I wasn't getting all the extra chests and the extra enemy drops, but I did off, off stream um, to get to level 20 for the Savarog fight, so that's where it gave me a lot of materials. Wham! I also did go back to the... Oh, that's where it is. I went back to the train unwillingly, and I saw Pom Pom, and that's how I got the full set for uh, Japard there, the full... Um, relic set. It's a defense set, I believe, so. Oh, I'm still hurt. I thought I healed up. Oh, she died. Shit. I didn't heal up in time. Blow up. Uh-oh. We didn't heal between fights. Crap. Wham! Oh, critical. Let's get rid of that guy if we can. Oh, shit. Retaliate. Yeah, it is good for him. It's a good set. I looked at it. Originally, I put it on somebody else. Because I wasn't paying attention, and then I'm like, looking at it, and I'm like, wait, this is a defense set. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, that sucked. Oh, shit, didn't mean that. I wanted to just... Oh, well. Wham. Oh, we're gonna lose some people here. Killer! Oh, haha. -ha. Maybe I can interrupt it. I'm not used to not uh, or not being auto revived after a fight. Oh, he got her. Is he, is he gonna be the only one to make this out alive? <laughs> ah, crap. Kill somebody. All right. Well, I don't need that. Uh, just fight him. Oh, maybe I should have. Too late now. Alright. Oh, what's that? You can go to the world vendor and buy another set for the main character? Really? Oh, okay. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind that. Kill this guy. Oh, hurry, hurry. No! Oh my god, that saved me? Okay. I didn't kill him? Kill this guy! Alright. Holy crap. Formidable oh, foe. Oh my god, okay. I thought he was just Joe... Joe Foe. Well, boys, we're hurt here. Let's get our people back. I'm going to run to the little thing in front of Severog, way over here. I'm going to try to heal up. Oh, they're all gone. Let's go touch this thing and heal up. Save our game. Heal up. There it is. All right. Perfect. Got it. Okay. Let's go back. There's one more spot we didn't explore here. 31 Elite. I think that... Uh, I think that Billabong World Vendor has a physical damage... Oh, cool. Okay. Hopefully we're going there next. We will see. We will see.
All right, so we got some stuff there. Usually when I get a chest and it's full of stuff, I do go to relics and I just see who doesn't have anything. Oh, there we go. Until we can get everybody geared with something. And then once that's done, we can do the thing. Okay, so... We've defeated this. Now, next part is... I think this is the next part where they want me to go. What I want to do... I might need a hand with this one. We have to do... I hate being level 20. And not getting any more XP. So I want to do... I want to do the level up quest. Let me think of where we even find this. Oh, let's have a little look here. Oh, and there's a daily. Oh, no, we're not going to do that till we level up. So. Before you click for the world vendor. I'm just going to look in here. I want to do the, what's this? World unlocked in the simulated universe. Rewards updated in the simulated universe. Redeemable with shield. Make main character best you can before ascension. Hmm. I think I think I am there. She's got full level, 30 out of 30. She's got her light cone. Oh, I thought her light cone was all the way up. There, okay, now her light cone's all the way up. She's got her traces. She's got her relics. She's the only one with these. The Edelons or whatever they are. Get the set of the world vendor if you can. Okay, so... Alright, so let's find the world vendor. So he was in... Where's our map? Uh, where is he at here? Where would the world vendor be? Let's see. That's below. That's above. Is he up top? Oh, it's Boulder Town. Okay. All right, let's go to Boulder Town. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. What's this guy? It's the underground shop. Oops. Oh, we know we gotta go to Boulder Town. So let's go over to Boulder Town first. We'll go over here. In the meantime, there's a vendor with three dashes. Okay. Check it out. King Cole. Oh shit, the air seems to suddenly heat. Heat up, and a sticky wind grips onto your ankles. Ankles? Leaving you feeling intuitively uncomfortable. Equilibrium. Mutters a low emotional voice. Another whisper echoed as if in symphony. The universe should be in equilibrium. Hmm. We got an overworlder talking to us, boys. Um. Yes, says the voice. Equilibrium. The arbitrators of the Equilibrium are giving you a trial, and the echoes continued. For the Equilibrium of all worlds, you must demonstrate your strength. The strong will be given greater opportunities, the weak a chance to breathe. Passing the trial will prove that your strength has shaken the scales of power. The voice said, the wor worlds will change, and thus Equilibrium. You will encounter stronger enemies, harder puzzles, and greater rewards. After equilibrium, the voice keeps repeating. You will go to face yet more trials. Uh, is this going to kick us right into... It is underground shop? Underground shop was a world vendor. Okay. Um, all right then for the equilibrium. You must... You detect a hint of approval from the emotionless tone. It is this that the all worlds change. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, not... Well, I was going to go to the vendor first. Can I go to the vendor first? Alright. Where's the equilibrium trial? 
It is. We're gonna have to find it later on. Okay, we want to go there. So let's go. Let's go this way. We're gonna hand over. I've been to this guy. I swear. Do 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 do. Always over here. Oh, give me that. The mailbox is tucked away in the corner, trying not to be noticed. Better not disturb it. You get the sense that even the most sociable person would need some personal space to let alone a mailbox. That was dumb. Okay. Yeah, I've talked to this guy. This is where I bought the uh, um, the Edelon uh, prize to open that up. Yeah, I bought. He had up here. He had the Edelon thing. I bought that. Oh, is this a set? Uh, yeah, there it is. I bought that. Shadow of Destruction. I don't have enough. I only have 200 because I spend 1000 on this. Um, I can get one of these. Let's see. Does it tell me what it does? Increases phys physical damage after the wearer attacks or it's hit. Okay. 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 Purple boxing set. It's all purples. Okay. Well, we'll get one. That's all we can afford. Oh, no. We can afford two. Let's get the boxing gloves, too. Okay. Oops, we had a claim there. I missed it. Let's get our claim. Okay. Okay, we'll put on some set pieces here. Alright, so for her, I think it was chest. There we go. And what was boxing gloves, I think? There we are. And again, we'll just check everybody. Maybe somebody can use what I took off. Oh, yep. There we go. For now. Okay. That was good. That was good. You can get two. Those are pretty good rolls for stats. Oh, there was random. I didn't notice that. So you're saying the stats on these, uh, on these here were random. So crit rate went up. What was the boxing gloves? Let's go take a look. I didn't notice. Attack 45. Increases physical attack by 10. There we go. And then we go up here if we get all four pieces. Okay. Alright, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. Um, We're not going to do the story. We want to do that equilibrium thing where the guy was just talking to us. If we can find it. That's oh, interesting. Uh, he. Hmm. This is a hard part here. Let's see. Maybe this is quests. Here it is. Okay. Universal equilibrium. That's what we want to do. Trial of equilibrium. Let's go find that. Okay. There we are. Let's go do it. If we can get up past level 20, I'd be a lot happier because I hate doing things, exploring, getting treasure chests, beating people, and then the experience doesn't level you up. I'd rather everything we do give us experience and help level us up. I don't know how hard this... Oh, wait a minute. We got a good group. Yeah, we got defense group. Oh, shit. What was that, boys? Level 29. Holy shit. What level am I? I recommend a team level 29. Wait a minute. How could you possibly be level 29? You have to level up a level 20. Hmm. Hmm. Confused. Level 29. I thought we're level 20. Oh, physically we're level 30. Okay, so we should be okay. We say character level. Oh, robot settlement. Oh, just... Oh, okay. I thought we were just going to go right into a fight. They want to do a little footwork before. Okay. Oh, you got to fight two. Ah. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's get a little lay of the land here, boys. Um, I'm going to do electrical to everybody because these guys are ice. Bam. Okay. 
We're not hurting the main guy, but we hurt the other guys. They're going to fight us in one second, but he didn't get to go before, so it is what it is. Oh, I got two of them down. One down. Oh, she couldn't Kuru him. Oh, that hurt. Extra action. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, I'm going to fight him. You couldn't even kill him. Oh, he died of his own. Okay. Single target. That guy's ice. Why is he not taking electrical damage? This guy's tough. Hmm. All right. Ever winter rain. Oh, that hurt. Oh. Holy shit. And he froze me, boys. Aha. Give me some defense. Fire, wind, and quantum. He's weak to fire, wind, and quantum. Hmm. I don't think I carry fire, fire, wind, or quantum. <laughs> uh oh. Um. Interrupt. Boom. Actually, that's not true. My damage buffer, the fox girl, I think is fire. Recovered from frozen. Ever went to rain again? Oh my god. Oh. He's brutal. This guy's worse than uh, the freaking... Savarog. Hmm. We might have to switch out people here, boys. Wow. Hmm. My god, he killed her. She's dead. So, hmm. I don't understand the point of making this guy so hard. If they want you to level up, and they just fought Severog. He's going to have to go double. I oh, got him. Might have to switch our elements. Wow. There's no way to revive a character during battle, eh? It's not like a use an item, is there? Is that a thing? No. Hmm. Man, this is brutal. We gotta live through his attack here. Freezing rain, or whatever it was. Ever winter rain. Oh, and then that follow up. So brutal. Oh. Damn, he killed her. Straight up. Gone. Wow. Holy cow. Wham. Take it when I can get it. You're going to use the item before. Okay. Only one character can do that. Uh, one character can res. Buff attack and heals. She has one point. I know it. <laughs> Wham! 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 
Oh, she's dead. Oh, she lived? Oh my gosh, she's alive at one. I don't believe it. Oh, come on. Hit him hard, man. She's going down now. Wham. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my god, I lived through that. <laughs> yeah, one HP. <sighs> Oh, I can't do it. Well, he's next, though. Unfreeze, unfreeze. Yes. This guy is the ultimate tank. Yeah, his shields are insane. Can I kill him? Kill him! Oh, he's so close to dead. Oh, get him! Yeah! <laughs> we did it, boys. Holy shit, that sucked. That sucked. Wow. Hey, look where we are. We're at the little machine where uh, Clara was uh, dicking around. Hmm. Wow, we gotta fight another guy, too? But I. Do I have to do it in one go, or can I come back? Can I heal and come back? Hold on, there's got to be a way to do something here. Let's see. <sighs> I don't really understand items that well. Uh, I think these are just level up items, these cones. That's gear. Uh, I'm not sure what any of this is. I think that's for crafting. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, what revives someone? Heals one downed character. Would that revive her? Let's try it. Let's try it. Will that work? It does. Okay. All right. Immediately heals one down. Oh, mm, I need something to give somebody back. Heals a single character. Haha. -ha, let's find this. Confirm. 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 All right. I'm going to try to push it. I'm going to go for full. There we go, boys. All right, close enough. Anyway, do we got to do this all in one go? Is this guy going to be, like, resistant? Wait a minute. How come there's over there, too? He's right there, but what's over here? Hmm, nothing. Oh, secret path. No, nothing there. Hmm, he's looking at me. I need to sneak in there. Oh, I didn't get weakness. Oh, shit. Okay, we got fire. So what do we got here? Uh, what are these three items? That must be ice. I'm not sure what that is, but it's pulsing. I'm not sure what that is either. Let's try an AoE blast. See what happens. Okay. Wham! Ooh. He's gonna go right after me. Let's see. These guys are clearly fire. Oh, that gives me the burn. Oh, I hate burn. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I hate that burn. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, man. I got no way to heal that. How come this music sounds like who wants to be a millionaire? Let's see. See if you have something to buff your attack. Oh, we didn't do that. Uh, ice, lightning, and imaginary. No such thing as imaginary. Ice, lightning, that's good. So you have three of the four. Okay. All right. We should have buffed. We should have got... Son of a bitch. I fucking hate heal. Or burn. That's a good one. That's a good freebie. E, final answer. <laughs> yeah, Regis, I choose E. Oh, look at that combo. Lightning attack into a Kuro Kuro into a lightning attack. That was freaking awesome. Okay, that was really cool. 
I'd like to phone a friend. Wow. Okay, this guy's a lot better than that first guy. Although he's still got hit points. We can't underestimate him, boys. Maybe we can freeze him. Oh, he is frozen, but maybe we can freeze him more. Double freeze. Oh, look at that. Kuru Kuru into a giant ice bulwark. Wham! Now we're talking. Now we're playing the game here. Oh, look at that. Down to one knee. Nothing. <laughs> oh, you can't hurt me. Blast him. Wham! Get him. Smack him hard. Wham! Oh, shit. Okay. He's taking that stupid burn. It's gone now. Okay. Oh, he's uh, sparked or whatever it is. Oh, shit. What's this? Mania? He's doing Hulkamania? He's going to drop the leg on me. Shit. Yeah, get him. Get him again. Do it. Kitty Crystal. Wham! Oh. Uh oh, he's coming up. We have defense, but it's like minor defense. Let's try to freeze him. Freeze him. Freeze him. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> oh, get him again. Defeat. I think we did it, boys. I think we did it. Wow. Hell yeah. Look at that. Judius. The air turns hot again without warning, and that soft breeze itches your ankles. Equilibrium. An unknown voice whispers into your ears. The worlds are already changing, for equili equilibrium reigns supreme. Rest assured, the trial of equilibrium will find you. As his voice falls, everything returns to normal. Yeah! Part one! Oh. Ooh. Haha, <laughs> level 21. Don't make this too easy. Challenge complete. Holy shit. That was hard, I'm not gonna lie. Not sure where technique points are yet. Oh, there's the flower. It's clacks again, but it seems to be slightly different than what I've seen before. I better send a message to Mr. Yang. Oh, found another clacks mutation. Hmm. Yes, remember I mentioned that there are many different kinds of claxes, and the reality data stored in many of them vary. Remember to be thoroughly prepared before you make physical contact with them. It's not going to be worth it if you get yourself hurt out of avarice. Hmm, okay. Do I, what? Okay. But I have those. I've been doing those. Oh, okay. I did this. Wait a minute. Yeah, I was doing those last time, I think. I thought I... Hmm. Anyway, cool. Oh, there's a new one there I see in the Great Mine. Uh, okay. If you want to get your parts for your... Your level ups. Bud of Harmony. Woohoo! Gee. A strange creation in the shape of a flower, simple, with crimson stamens and pistols and ink black petals. Defeat the enemy to get trace materials. Awesome, man. Now to level 40. You can level everybody up again. And let's do that. Hooray! My childhood. I don't know what that means, but that's okay. We need Herta, because she hurt the enemy really good. And she's awesome. Woo! Uh, did I ascend already? I did. Okay. Uh, several. Cool as shit. And cool as shit girls get leveled up. Alright. Nice. I... 
Oh, kind of liking him because of his defense. I kind of like his defense. Boy, it's not going to lie. There we go. Ooh, travel encounters. All right, so we've leveled everybody up. Let's go back here for two seconds. Uh, aha, I thought so. All right. Oh, that's all I can do? Oh, I picked that one. Okay. Before I could do them all, so I got to be careful then. I Obviously the main one. I need the main one. This is my one-time offer, which I really like. What are you looking at? Though? Ooh, that's the revenge one. Final do it. No, final do it myself is a good one. Ooh, they're all good. Well, it's two out of ten. Let's go for that one. Make it three out of ten. Oh, we get an extra. All right. Okay. Uh, several can't do anything. Hmm. Can't do anything. I don't want to go down the list. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Um, still can't do that yet. We could do light cones. What's this, by the way? Oh, what is this? What happened? What the fuck is this? What? What is it? Critter pick? Huh? Oh, what? What is all this? How come that looks like Genshin? What is this? Oh, this looks cool, whatever it is. Okay, we'll come back to that. What's this? Mm, same thing. We gotta click the buttons here for a minute, boys. Gotta get rid of the new stuff. Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Let's go back here for for characters. We're looking at light cones. That's what I was gonna say. Um, uh, level 40 and their cones and their traces. He's badass. Yeah, he is. I guess he is. Events are events. You unlock them at different levels. Okay, so that's good to know. We can do them at different levels. Should I be... You know how we get the light cones? And, like, this one here is rare. Like a purple one or a special one. Should I be upping this generic shitty light cone? I mean, it's a good one. It does what I want it to do. Uh, my basic and my uh, attack and my skill damage is by 40. I mean, that's pretty cool, I think. Oh, I like it, but I mean, oh, I don't have enough anyway, but in my light cones in general, like when I go pick one, I got some cool rare ones now. I get some ones with faces on them and stuff that are specific for people. I mean, they didn't do the stats I wanted, so I guess they're not mm -hmm. super amazing, but oh, here's my achievements. Let's look at that childhood one. My childhood reached level 40. Okay. Uh, reach equilibrium level one. Nice, nice, nice. Now we're getting into the game, boys. Oh, shit. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Missions. Oh, that's... Okay, that's the one for the... Right. Oh, I got mail. What did I get? Tears of Dreams. What is this? Is this a relic? Hmm... Trace material. Oh, it's a light cone essential material. Okay. Hmm. Uh, that's a good one for now. Wait, wait. You can level them. If you go to the light cone and click on the mat you're missing, you can go to the Cadillacs and get... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. I was doing... Um, yes. Uh, shit, which one was it now? Hold on. Let me take a look at this. I think it's this. No, wrong one. That's warp. Maybe it was this. I was doing... Where's the one that shows the path of... The daily path thing? Uh, is it this? Maybe this was it. No, they had a daily... Hmm. 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 Again, too many stupid things. 
If you uh, if you go to the light cone and click the material, you had it first. Ah, shit, I went too many before I got your message. This one? Where is that thing I'm looking for? It must have been the one. It must have been that tall one. Yeah, it's this, but it had something... Where was it? This is taking... This has got a, a lock on it here. A lag on it. Where is that thing? It had a picture of the girl up here and it had like a little line going down it and it had all the different things you could unlock. Uh, then the arrow. Where the hell is that thing? It's called the returning something. The returner, yeah, the return. Where's the returner? Uh Oh, it was only up for seven days. I swear I just used it yesterday. Oh, okay. Well that was cool. In the returner it was prompting me to go to the Catalyx or whatever and do um six fights for double rewards, and I was doing that. That's how I get to level twenty. Okay, well no problem then. It was just a special a special time thing. What do we got here? Arlen. Do you have some time? I still haven't thanked you for helping me when we first met. I don't remember you. Uh, when was that? What do you mean? You found me wounded in the monitoring room and took me somewhere safe. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have lasted much longer. Do you have some time to... Do you have time to come to the base zone? I have a gift I want to give you. Uh, can you just mail it? I want to give it to you face to face. It's more formal. I'll wait for you. Yeah, man. All right, I'll take a gift, boys. We'll go get a gift. I have no no issue with gifts. Let's do that. But you can still go to the Catalyx and get mats for your light cones, traces, or your experience. Yes, and I will because I like doing that. It was fun. That's how we were really having a blast with our glass cannon team. We we're busting through them, uh, six fights in a row. What do I have up here? Let me just... Whoops! Oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to click out of the game for a second. Oh, there's some drops! Okay. I got notification for drops. Oh. <laughs> Puke Lord Mentality. <laughs> Punk Lord. Whoops. I said Puke Lord. Let's go over here. This guy? I don't remember this guy at all. Correct, all the cabins they might pass. They might pass. All the cabins they might pass by have been checked. Remember to report to lead researcher Asta. Uh, I'm here. Give me my gift right now. Who's this asshole? We'll deal with the problems outside the base zone later. Ah, it's you. Uh, didn't you ask me to get here? Sorry, this is embarrassing. We suddenly had some stuff come up. I wanted to take care of it before you arrived, but I can't seem to get a break around here. <sighs> Never mind about that. Here, this is for you. I made this. I made it this morning and I've been keeping it warm. Hmm. I gotta go groceries. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a Silver Wolf character story. <gasps> Silver Wolf. I gotta go groceries. BRB if you're on. All right, we're only gonna be on till about 4:30, so we will see you. If not, thank you for the uh, resub, good sir, and help in the game. Enjoy the groceries. Let's see what I can do here. A gift. Oh, that's right. I hope you don't hate it. I spent a long time wondering what to give you. In the end, I realized I should stick to what I'm good at. Miss Astor loves my friend's rice, so I hope you do too. Oh, I came all the way here for rice. Sorry, it's so noisy here. I want to find somewhere quieter where I can get your feedback, but... Don't worry about it. Miss Asta said that the gratitude has to be sincere. It's a shame that I had to finish it up so hastily. Some big shot suddenly decided to visit the space station today. Everyone has been in a hurry since. The announcement. They're all worried that the bad impression could damage Madame Herta's reputation. 
Miss Asta said that the guest appears to be Madame Herda's research partner. If she's doing your research with her, he must be famous throughout the galaxy. Ah, look at the time. The guest is almost here. If you're curious, just follow the crowd. Miss Astra will be there soon. Okay, there it is. Punk Lord mentality. So that's what he was saying. Okay. Heard his research partner. I remember she once talked about the elevator's entrance. It seems to be nearby. I shall check it out now. Hmm. Okay, we'll do this little mission. Sure. Why not? Me left the safe zone. Wait a minute, there's somebody on the phone. Who's here? Oh, that shitty pump. I don't. Mm, no, fuck that thing. All right. So this visitor is. Thought always precedes words. And yet, I can't find the words for this moment. Oh, look at this steampunk motherfucker. It's good to see you. Screw them. <laughs> yeah, he does. Alright. I, apolog I apologize. In 4 minutes and 13 seconds earlier than the appointed time. I hope it's not a bother. Of course not, Mr. Screwlum. Welcome to Herda Space Station. No need for formalities, Asta. Herda Space Station is where knowledge converges. Here we celebrate the equality of thought. Such collaboration between organic life forms is magnificent and efficient. You're rebuilding the space station far quicker than I could have imagined. <laughs> We appreciate your high praise, Mr. Squirrelum. Would you like to sh me to show you around? Since the last summit, we've launched several new research projects focused on silicone-based matrices. Do you want to see my silicones? That sounds lovely, but I do have a meeting with Herta, so let's put the new surprises on hold for now. Madam Herta should be in her office. I'll take you there. Right this way. Hi. Hi. <gasps> Who's that? Who is this woman? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Screwlum. <laughs> Me? Ah, uh, hello. I've heard so much about you. Herda talks about you often. She's quite curious about you. As am I. What is it like to live in symbi symbiosis? I can't say that word. Symbiosis? With a Celeron. I hope we'll have sufficient time in the future to get to know each other and answer this question. You can find out why they call me Mr. Screwlum. <laughs> God. Sorry, I wanted to show you around, but now that I think, uh, now I don't think I'll be able to get away. Go ahead, or you won't be able to catch up. Go. Alright, see you. It's Herta! Woo! What's going on there? That's weird. Oh, Arlen is busy, so I better leave him alone. That person over there seems to be doing something to hurt his portrait. Publicly. Let's shame him. Oh, that was a treasure box. Oh, shit. Can I break this? No, okay. Oh, what do we got over here? Hold on. I can break that. Investigate. A very ordinary little robot performing, providing very ordinary life services aboard the space station. You notice a button sticking out of the robot, looking like it might be a power button. Force a shutdown. You notice the little robot has been on standby here for some time. You push the button, sending the little robot into sleep. You saved a teensy bit of power for the space station. It's not much, but it's still enough to make you puff your chest out in pride. Let's see him puff out, boys. Puff him out. Puff him out. All right. Leonard. Strange, it should be around here somewhere. Maybe it's hidden inside Madame Herta's portrait. Huh? Do you need something? If you're looking for the front desk, just go straight through the doors. 
Oh, she looks so pretty. <gasps> Another frame of Madame Herta? Well, I'm afraid the portrait's being taken down soon. Wait a second. I know you. I saw you chatting with Captain Arlen just now. You must be the rising star who caught Madame Herta's attention. Is this fanboy? Is that who this is? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Leonard, a cybersecurity engineer here at the space station. You probably know that this place was recently attacked by antimatter by the Antimatter Legion. In the chaos, the master control system for each zone was paralyzed. Now that the station is being rebuilt, my job is to repair equipment and restore the space station's cybersecurity. But during the repair process, I discovered some anomalies. The access records show that a third party other than the Legion invaded while the master control system was paralyzed. Okay. Was it a lady in sunglasses? Stellar on Hunters, the Astral Express. Hmm. I'll go for sunglass lady. I don't know who or what it was. Actually, I'm investigating that right now. We suspect that it may have been Stellar and Hunters. It's an elusive group. Very dangerous. Every member is on the IPC's wanted list. Include a super hacker in from Punk Lord. I'm ashamed to admit that I've lost her once before. A while ago, I discovered her whereabouts during a screening process. I was planning to follow the clues to find more details about her, but I fell into her trap. Can you guess what happened next? She reverse hacked my device, sent out a bunch of spam, made a video game open to the space station, and told everyone that an idiot named Leonard made a big silly mistake. This guy's crazy, I love him. Oh, I don't want to think about it. Now that everything has calmed down, I thought I'd... They'd be on my case already. Silver lining, Madam Herta was generous enough to allow me to continue investigating this matter. She's getting revenge on you. I wouldn't go that far. I'm just a nobody. You think Madam Herta would remember me? To put it simply, the leaders have given me an opportunity. How could I not cherish it? If I can make up my mistake make up for my mistakes and do a good job, I may have a chance to prove myself. This time, I plan to start from inside the space station and see if I can find some clues to trace the intruder's steps. Maybe I can find the blind spot I missed before. I designed a decoding program. Look, it looks like a camera, but it's actually a detector. We should be able to find hidden clues with it. Just like this. Aims the director at the wall. Something appears to be on the wall. That guy talks a lot and he's loud. Herta! Huh? What exactly are... Uh, teardrop shaped object, drop of water, drop of sweat. Oh, she's just so pretty. I didn't ask you to look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why would something like this be in a space station? The staff wouldn't even dare scribble on the wall, let alone leave a drop of sweat. So this is what we're looking for. Susp suspicious evidence. It wasn't what I was expecting, but... At least it's a clue. Uh, Wait a second, let me take a look. Oh, I see this digital graffiti that appears to represent Punk Lordian symbols. If I'm not mistaken, this should be some kind of automatic encryption. Need to decipher it if we want to find any culpatory evidence. What does this have to do with me? Huh? What? Well, you got me there. I got caught up in another conversation. I wasn't paying attention. Let me think. Maybe I've been under too much stress recently and I subconsciously want a friend. Anyway, if I were to find clues related to the Stellaron Hunters, wouldn't that be helpful to you? Just do me a favor. It won't take up too much of your time. Here, just point at the graffiti at the wall. Point it at the graffiti on the wall. Okay. How do I actually do that? Investigate the mysterious graffiti. Oh, it's over there. Oh, I see. I get it. Okay. Can I find any more? Or is it just that? Can I take a picture of Herta? <laughs> Let's try it. Oh. I thought that might be cool. 
He pointed at the graffiti on the wall, then some blinking blue patterns started to appear. Suddenly, the pattern imploded and engulfed its surrounding sounds and colors. Something inside seems to be breaking out from it. This is weird. We're fighting the wall? Oh, jeez. Why are there Void Rangers here? Lightning and wind. Okay. So they're all weak. Wow. Good hit. Good hit, girl. Well, I guess I have to, right? Let's get rid of this. Oh, can I do it before? Can I do it before? No. Almost, man. Almost. I don't need it now, but... He's weak to wind, but I think we can... Yeah, we're going to get him. Okay. He's gone. That was cool. We doing all right so far? No lag or nothing, eh? Okay. That scared me to death. Did you see that? It seemed like something popped up here. Then Void Rangers jumped out. Oh, look at the little butt. That's nice. Uh, it seems to be an extra person. But look, just like I guessed, this graffiti is encrypted. If we decipher it, we can see some hidden information. The surveillance camera captured her face. Silver Wolf. It's exactly it's the same, exactly the same photo as the IPC's wanted list. Let me see what she was up to. Oh, that's cute, boys. This is a transmitter beacon. Oh, I see. She probably ran into the Antimatter Legion during the invasion. Then use this beacon to teleport the enemies somewhere else. We accidentally activated the beacon again just now. And they were brought back. Geez, Stellaron Hunters have the ability to stow enemies away like that? Beacon transmission that doesn't require a power source can be implemented solely through compulsion? Com... 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 Computation? No wonder they were able to break into the space station. What's this? I'm afraid not even Madame Herta's office is safe. Uh, have some faith. We'll figure this out. Well, I don't share your optimism. If it wasn't for you, I'd probably be laying on the ground right now. Anyway, let's work together. There's a strange signal nearby. Maybe it's another piece of graffiti. All right, we're locked into this now, boys. We're in this... Into this graffiti. Anything in the trash? No. Oh, we gotta run down the hall. Look up there, Tis Tis, they even put down a question mark. They must be making fun of us. Where? Oh. Where? I don't see it. Oh, oh, on the ground. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Scan graffiti. We're getting choppy now. I'm starting to get choppy. Uh, let's look around. Maybe there's something else to to find. Eh, or not. Oh, there she goes. Okay. She went towards the base zone. Yep, there's only one way. Oh, shit. Disappeared again. The thing keeps cutting out when I'm deciphering it. Got two ways to go. She must have stopped here for a bit. Let's look around. Got two ways to go. We'll go this way first. Oh! Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Nice. What else can I interact with? Here we go. There we go. I'm just going to break those. If we don't mind. What else? What else? What else, boys? Oh, we can break these. I'll go look over here first. There it is. Scan graffiti. Alright. 
This Leonard is going to talk forever. Why is she so tiny? Like a 3D location is quite interesting. It feels like she's playing a game with us. One dot leads to another. It's really annoying. I heard it from a friend that the hackers on Punk Lord have a tradition. When they hack, they purposely leave something behind for people to discover. Kind of like throwing down the gauntlet. They called this the Punk Lord mentality. There can only be one competition when there's a rivalry. And there can only be... And there can only be excitement when there is competition. Life's a game and having fun is what's most important. Hmm. I don't understand that way of thinking, but it seems like this graffiti might have been left behind for us on purpose as a clue. The same thing happened last time as well. I was so close to the targets, but the targets got obliterated in the final battle of information. Let's focus. You're right, it doesn't help to dwell on the past, on my past failures. Thank you. Oh, she seems to be leaving. Let's keep up. Where's she going? Monitoring room. Okay. Oh, so I don't need to go check the other one because that it was one or the other. I'll just heal up in case. Never know. Oh, there's that little minx. What was it? A trotter? Whatever it's called. Trotters? Got the trots? Something? Get them right away. Hurry. Don't let him run. This thing's so cool. Wham. So I don't do as much damage, but I have a huge defense. I don't know, man. It's like trade one for the other. But that's where I got the... um. That's where I got all my damage to kill these trotters before they ran was from the, the buff girl. Wham! Gotta get that thing down, man. It's got all the monies. Got all the bonus coins. There it goes. Haha, -ha, gold. Nice. What do we get extra? From the trotter. Thief's instinct times four credits. Ooh. Yeah, that thing's awesome, man. I like those trotters. I got, uh, what did I get before? I got the lost trotter and I got the, uh, nervous trotter. Well, there's some definitely treasure right here. Another graffiti. They're all different, too. She really did put some thought into this. That's Herda, isn't it? I'll try to get this first. I wish that minigame was a little better. Well, this section of the record damage? She went through the wall and disappeared. Uh, she altered the rec records. Could it be a display malfunction? It's highly unlikely. I bought this detector just last week. The refund guarantee hasn't even expired yet. <laughs> of course. Fucking guy. Didn't you say you developed this yourself? What? Let's talk about that later. Hold on, I got it. It might be a different... It might be an effect from a curio. There's a pre-established folder... Folded space here, and the intruders found it and took advantage of it. No wonder she kept going through the curio collection index. This space is connected to the Stellaron room. Do you still remember it? That's where they put the Stellaron inside you. Through your ass. Alright. Uh, I, uh, I think I remember... Why would they leave you here if their objective was the Stellaron? With her capabilities, all she would have needed to do was make another beacon. She would have been able to escape with the Stellaron, no problem. Oh shit, I'm getting teleported or something, boys. Well, I guess I should have talked to Herta when she was there. Huh? There's no graffiti here. We're doomed. The trail's gone stone cold. Oh my god, look at all the... the bullshit. Um... Holy fuck. Just getting some, uh... Some quick notifications through here, boys. Um... There's a game available... that I have to get. 
Uh, low count balance. That's nice. Oh, I don't care about that. Okay. <clears throat> so strange. Did she really just leave like that? She came all this way. And we didn't take any. She didn't take anything with her, nor leave anything behind. Oh, well, they did leave you behind. Uh, sorry, that sounded better in my head. I must have been a terrible feeling waking up in a place like this that was completely unfamiliar to you. Uh, hmm. Sounded like you experienced it yourself. Me? That's how I feel when I wake up every day. I can't help but feel that there's more there after. I really hope I can find something that's useful to you. Otherwise, I feel bad having you do so much work for nothing. The more I talk about it, the worse I feel. I should probably find something I can do. There's a rating pistol here. I wonder what my rating would be. Look here, there's a strange access log in the rating pistol's compartment. Looks like the log time occurred during the Legion's invasion. The researchers would have already been evacuated by then. Could it have been her? In which case, she would have. She didn't leave immediately. She implanted the Stellaron inside you and then fiddled around with the raiding pistol for a while. Could it be that? I just realized something. We need to go to the Curio collection room on the other side. Raiding pistol. Item number 752, raiding pistol. This weapon rates creatures on sight using unknown scoring logic. The closed eye of this weird little gun, it's open, snaps open as it swirls around for a moment, staring at you with malice. The rating pistol gazed at you. 84 points, it announced. You don't quite understand the logic behind the scoring, but you're an 84 out of 100. Not bad. Eh. Pretty hot, I guess. Oh, da, da, da. oh. that's Herda! I'm not supposed to talk to her though. I'm supposed to be doing this quest. Hmm. Hmm. Wham. Wham. Wait, which way do I go here? This way? Oh, here we go. Okay. Just as I thought she was here? I see the graffiti over there. Any other treasure? No. It's right there. Look how tiny she is. Holy crap. I just remembered that Madame Herta has a game cartridge named Punk Lord Mentality in her collection. Game cartridges. You remember it, right? It actually on the list of missing curios. I wasn't able to put the two together before. If the hacker is a personal objective other than the Stellar on Hunter's mission, I got it. I got it now. The Stellar on Hunter's operation was just a cover for her. Uh, she was actually after the curio. Feels like you got it backwards. Look, in the end, they didn't take the Stellaron with them. So, she was interested in the curio collection index that she stayed in the space station even after her mission was complete. This was what she was truly after. She knew we were looking for the Stellaron hunters and used it as cover. Very smart to be expected from someone from Punk Lord. Hold on, though. Something doesn't add up. The curios and Madame Herta's prized possessions. All the visit requests are sent to her office from the computer in the main control room. Some researchers tried to gain access to the curios for research purposes once, but they didn't get proper authorization. She caught them all red-handed. She values them more than the researchers. Well, they're definitely far more important than I am. But enough of that. We should go check out the main control room. Hmm. Okay, so these are her little trinkets. She's like, uh, what's his name? Not Jeff Goldblum. Who was the uh, collector in uh, Avengers? I can look at all these, eh? A black hole. Hmm. Black hole. I can absorb energy, but not food. There's a suspiciously oily sheen over the metal casing. It seems like part, looks like the part about food in the Kiru introduction was added recently. Somebody's screwing with them. Okay, cool. Hmm. Oh, that lag, though. Holy shit, boys. Alright, we got a chest. 
Nice, nice, nice. We're back at the old school... Uh, the old school circle running here. Where we gotta fight these guys along the way. I Do I have to fight them? Well, let's see. Maybe I can... Oh, I got by him. Yeah, maybe he's still on my ass. I don't know. Nope. I got by him. I forget what this stuff was. Was this anything? The green stuff? No. Warped matter in a black and gold meanders along the floor of the space station. A phenomenon known as fragmentium corrosion. Hmm. Wait, I don't want to go that way. Oh, that's not right. Yeah. Wham. Entered the safe zone. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Okay. Emily. Hmm. 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 Screen. The screen seems to be used to monitor unique blind spots. Nothing abnormal is showing up. Hello, Emily. The ninth cup. Come on, Emily. Noth this is nothing. Just pinch your nose and drink it. Ugh. Yes, pinch your nose and just drink this brown liquid. Okay, I don't know what game she's into here. Oh, I can't take it anymore. This is disgusting. Uh, oh, co oh, yeah, sure it is. It's none of your business. Who says I can't drink coffee if I don't like it? Is it against the law, bitch? At the end of the day, coffee is just a functional beverage. People eat when they're hungry, and people drink coffee when they're tired. Wow. All right, I have questions for you, Emily. Uh, about Leslie. Understand this. I'm Emily, even though technically I'm her sister. I hope you can get to know me as an independent individual instead of associating me with that woman like everybody else. I was born a bit later than her. I'm better than her no matter in talent or practice. As long as I'm given the same opportunity, I'm sure I'll be able to create my own legend on the space station. Yeah, that's enough. That's a wise thing to do. Leave me alone. Stop prying on Leslie. Wow. Snot. Oh, notification for physical examinations. Oh, what did I achieve, by the way? Physical examinations. Don't forget that, boys. Oh, that's for the pistol. I'm going to assume it's way down here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Can I get these out of the... Out of the new status, so I can find the one I'm looking for all the time. I never read them at the time, so that's why. Physical examinations. Maybe it is over here. Yep, it is. Okay. Ah, uh, what do we have? Dear colleagues, thank you for all you all of your contributions towards the development of the space station. To ensure your health and well-being, the annual health check in the space station has begun. The negative effects from the invasion of the Antimatter anti Legion are slowly dissipating. In order to better serve our colleagues on the space station at any given time, as well as to maintain everyone's mental health after the incident, the medical department has now launched a new health examination service. Aside from the regular physical examination, we also have upgraded the facilities to provide better counseling and mental health care services. Due to the partial restoration of the space station facilities and the limited capabilities of the medical cabin, please make an appointment before coming for a medical checkup so that we can allocate a reasonable time slot and provide good medical environment for you and your colleagues. Appointment booking. Booking through terminals, please utilize the various terminals in the space station and log into the Herta Space Station staff system to book your appointment at the medical cabin interface booking in person available at all times please register for an appointment with the help of medical cabin staff on duty at the desk tips after the booking is confirmed you will receive a confirmation notification please remember to attend your session on time if you need to cancel booking please log into the heart of space station staff system at least two hours before the session to do so or cancel in person at the medical cabin after canceling the appointment the next appointment can be made at any time search results each physical examination report will be generated in electronic form within 36 system hours. The Herda, ooh, 
Pan Panopticon system will be sending out notifications around that time. Please remember to check your terminal devices after the checkup. If you have any questions regarding the examination results or require a medical consultation, consultation, please bring your staff identification card for confirmation purposes when you come in for the consultation. If you are unsure or have questions about the physical examination, please feel free to contact a medical staff member on duty at the Herta Space Station staff system. Everybody get that? Do you know what to do when you need to uh, book your appointment? You better. All right, Leonard. Did his voice change? Wait, don't move. I get the chills just looking at the space station monitors now. Let me investigate first. Just perfect. Not only did she shut all of the access logs, she shut off all the terminal transmissions too. I thought it was the Legion that did this. No one noticed the whole freaking time? But this wouldn't have been a high priority issue. The space station's to-do list is ridiculously long at this point. I am curious though. She paused the terminal transmissions but didn't touch the local data. I really don't get her. As a Stellaron hunter, she leaves the Stellaron behind. As a hacker, she doesn't delete the local log. There's an external port here. I'm gonna plug in and take a look. Why don't you let me do it? Relax, friend. I've done this a million times. Look at this agreement. As you feared, a burst of light shines and the enemy appears. Oh, okay. So he fought the enemy? Oh, no. I fight the enemy. Of course I do. Of course I do. Weak to lightning? Take that. Weak to Kuroku? Take that. <laughs> That's so awesome. Beat that guy's ass. Yeah, get him out of there. Oh shit, void cannon. We don't like that. We play music and rebuttal. Badass. And we core core your punk ass. Done. See, I was right. There was something fishy about the local data she left behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we can browse through the Curio access logs, huh? That can't be right. The Curio doesn't seem to have ever left the space station. It just... Uh, she didn't take the Curio either. From the way things look, yes, the records show that this Curio was last sent to Madame Herda's office. And then it disappeared. I'm seriously confused. What did she come here for? She wouldn't have put up graffiti just to mess with, mess with us, would she? No, if I start thinking like that, I may as well give up now. I have to fully investigate every lead or I'll really be out of a job. Okay. Is that a fish tank over there? Huh. It's pretty cool. Not talking to Emily. She's a bitch. Which way are we going? Go to Herda's office. Hmm. What's a good way to Herda's office? Where does it want me to go? Oh, what's this little heart thing? What's this? Oh, okay. No, we don't want that. Um. Go to Her Herda's office. Ah, okay. It's over there? Maybe I'll just go here and then go over there. Let's do that. No point in running the gauntlet again, right? Why do that? Too much, boys. Too much. <sighs> oh, there's a vendor. We must talk to the vendor. Remember this guy from the beginning of the game? My god. You had that all along. I can't buy it, boys. I don't have 500 of these coins. Oh, there's a gear set too. Five. How do I get these coins? The cryptocurrency ca uh, circulating internally in the Herta space station can be used to purchase goods. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I need lots. Of, I need five hundred of those coins. I want to get her things all the way up. Fate's Atlas. What the hell is this? Oh, maybe this is just. 
telling me I'm doing a side quest. Okay, anyway. Sorry. Which way are we going? We are there, we gotta continue. Oh, jeez. What a messy map. Okay. Ugh. Nightmare map. Laggy nightmare map. That's not gonna happen. I'll say it again, I don't care what Ruin Mia said to you, but there's no chance we're shutting down the simulated universe. Herda, I've made my decision. Question. What if we invested into this project? Hundreds of system hours? The resources of an entire planet? And the most advanced technology in the entire universe? And what have we gotten in return? Unknowns, confusion, and a series of errors. In the beginning, we defined the simulated universe as a miniature world that could be used to discover the traces of the Aeons. But now it has become something far removed from its original purpose. Simulated universe is bound to make errors. You said that yourself. And that's exactly what we're experiencing. Why is it a problem all of a sudden? I adore the vast amount of knowledge, but I cannot escape except the simulated universe remains simply a pending contract waiting to be attended to. Herta, think about it. How many surprises has the project given you? How many disappointments has it given you? Simulated universe never disappointed me. You are what disappoints me, Skrillum. Do you really think of yourself as someone so exceptionally amazing right now? You're more like, like, like someone from the Nitwit Society. <sighs> I invested in this. Herda, I don't mean to question you, nor do I want to deny the hard work you put forth in the simulated universe. I just want to give you more room for knowledge and inspiration to grow freely. That's enough. Why do I have a... <laughs> we're, we're not going to touch that. All right. Uh, leave if you don't want to be part of this. Go tell the other two yourself. Oh, and take your tech with you. I don't need it. I can go find Arden Taylor or the red-nosed old man from Epsilon or even the Intelligence Riding Guild. At least they won't quit halfway. Uh-oh. Screw them. We've known each other a long time. This is the first time I feel that you're nothing but a piece of ice cold metal. Screw them, you. <laughs> Herda out. Oh, oh my God! I hope we're done with Leonard. I was he was annoying. Is there just screw them in here? That's it, eh? All right. Oh. My apologies, madam. Hmm. Hmm. I never uh, wanted to see that on her face. This all started with me. I was the one that brought up the request to end the academic collaboration. I can't say it. Collaboration. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Herta or the project. The simulated universe is a great experiment, and Herta is a true genius. However, we have our differences when it comes down to long-term vision for the future. These differences will often manifest into bias, and bias will get in the way of the formulation of knowledge. Deep down, I want to continue to believe in Herta. The question is whether one should end a collaboration that no longer holds true to its initial intent. From an objective, objective standpoint, I should end it immediately. Are you worried about her mental state? Not at all. But I'm glad I haven't caused you vexation on her behalf. The emotions of organic life are like tides. It is my fault for not noticing the trajectory of the moon. Let her to be alone for a while so she can calm her emotions. It'll be beneficial for our negotiations later on as well. As for the simulated universe, if that's the reason you're here, maybe I can help in answering your questions. Hmm. Search bonfire in the depths of the woods. A lone stone sword points to the stars. Punk Lord mentality. That is no ordinary curio, my friend. That is a love letter a Galaxy Ranger has written for the universe. Young madam, how much do you know about punk lords? 
Uh, nobody, and I mean nobody, knows more about the Funk Lords than I do. I don't know much. It's a planet made of data and symbols. The edges of reality are illusions and blurred in Punk Lord as are its days and nights. An ether cartridge is a sharp chip that Punk Lord hackers use to edit reality. The ways through which a hacker perceives and modifies the worlds are recorded on the chip. It is a recording of the hacker's life and proof of their existence. The one on the space station belonged to someone truly legendary. He became a galaxy ranger by accident and spent many long years traveling among the stars. He encountered countless fascinating individuals and saw wonders witnessed by few. Many of the records and details recorded therein are beyond the knowledge of even the IPC and the intellig Intelligenista Guild. That is why it became part of the masses of calcula calculation data for the simulated universe. There is no need to worry, my friend. The cartridge has never left the space station. It's as I said, it is a very important reference for the simulated universe. That is why data has been extracted and added to the calculations of the universe model. Heard it was probably impulsive and added the cartridge into the simulation without telling anyone, resulting in the item being listed as lost. Um, hmm, that person could have gotten to the office. I understand your concern. If the individual in question indeed tried to hack into Herta's office, then the simulated universe is undoubtedly her next target. As such, please allow me to offer my limited abilities to assist you with your investigation, madam. As you already know, the simulated universe will be shut down temporarily. It will remain shut down until Herta and I come to a clear conclusion. This is the last chance to investigate the cartridge data. By way of apology for sh shutting down the simulated universe, I will use my ability in the universe to provide you with what assistance I can. This is my recommendation. Please take your time to consider it. Okay. What? Enter the simulated universe with his help. Optional talk to Leonard. Um, time is a... I got a half hour. Let's do this. Fuck it. This is a mistake. <clears throat> did, did you hear that? I was so scared I couldn't utter a single word. The simulated universe shut down. That's Madame Herta's biggest project. I can't imagine how bad she'd be if it fell through. Wait, this is my fault, is it? If I've been unable to stop the enemy's invasion, would Mr. Skrulum be less pessimistic? Um, everyone's responsible. A bit harsh, but you're right. This is terrible. I feel like I'm incapable of doing anything. Still beating myself up the whole time won't help either. We're here for the cartridge. At the very least, we must try and see this thing through. Man, he's passionate. Having heard what Mr. Skrulum said, you're entering the simulated universe to continue the investigation, aren't you? I'm afraid I won't be able to accompany you. I'll be helping Mr. Skrulum monitor the system's internal data flow from the office. I'm so nervous. This is the first time I've been involved in something so big. Anyways, I'll be cheering for you. Alright, awesome. Well, that was weird. Alright, Skrulum. Let's go. Well, madam, are you ready? Let's get going. I'll be sending you into the simulated universe using an alternative method. It might feel a little different than usual as I plug this USB into your butt. This will help us quickly locate the cartridge in the vast sea of data. We'll start with this data link. Now please, prepare yourself for a deep dive within your consciousness. Oh shit, okay, so we got level 38. I should be level 40. It doesn't mean it's gonna be easy, but let's try this. We're going to try it. Oh, shit. Okay, we get a character. So they're giving us Silver Wolf as a trial character. Oh, wow, she's cute. Okay. Um, let's see her details here, boys. What do we got? 
What is she? What is this? Quantum. Okay, so she is quantum. All right. Uh, that's her light cone. Plants back. When the wearer hits an enemy, and if the hit enemy is not already ensnared, there's a 60% chance to ensnare the enemy. Ensnared enemy's defense decreases. Oh, so she just lowers the defense. Not, not the best in the world. She has traces. She has relics. She's not even open there. Okay. All right. No, she is what's what. Okay. Um, how are we going to do this? We got to think about this, boys. Uh, let's go to Japard. We have to. His sister. And me. Oh, we're not going to get her to. Damn. Uh, I hope that Silver Wolf is, is damage based. Because I'm damage, she's damage. Well, let's try it. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Don't know how she's going to go, boys. We got an unknown with us. You feel a ripple, a great weightlessness that makes you lose control of your limbs. And in a flurry of symbols and code, you wake up with a jolt. This is a simulated universe. Young madam, are you all right? I'm fine. You are now inside the data link of the ether cartridge. Look around and tell me what you discover. I think the hacker is in front of me. Hacker? Oh. Conclusion. That is a ho holographic record of the simulated universe has created in here. Regardless of how large or small, all variables are saved, including outsider traces. You were right. The enemy's invasion has spread to the deepest parts of the simulated universe. They were only a hair away from the ether cartridge's data link. What we are seeing are the projections of what happened in those moments. Young madam, please sit still. Allow me to see what I can do with this record. Hey, why are you staring at me? What did you do? I initiated the simulation flow. This is just a record of the past. She's not actually talking to you. Please listen and don't interrupt her. We may be able to find out more of what we need to know. First off, I'm not obsessed with it. On Punk Lord, the stories of the cartridge are no different from textbooks. I'm not interested in something that everybody already knows about. Secondly, it's not like some kind of video game cartridge. It's an ether cartridge. It's a second pair of eyes, second brain, and second heart of the hacker. Do you understand what that actually means? With that cartridge, if a guy went to a movie premiere and bought some mixed popcorn, you'd be able to know the flavor of the fourth kernel he picked out of the bucket. It's truly amazing. Lastly, I'm going to say it again. I'm not obsessed with it. The reason I'm still rambling about it is to make sure that you know how amazing it really is. Do you get it now, Kafka? All right, let's get going. We have to move quickly. This place is different from the rest of the space station we're on. Genius society turf. It is safe to assume that two people entered the simulated universe, her and her companions. Interesting. Let's see what happened next. You are now taking the point of view of the companion. She will react to your behavior now. Cool. All right, we're in. Oh, she, she's so cute. She's a little punk girl. That's awesome. Do we have... I'm oh, sure it does. <laughs> does this game have the... Uh, the camera thing? We can make a thumbnail. So what is this? Is this the exit? It's a sustenance anchor. Okay. Get familiar with our surroundings here. Weakness! What does she attack with? Okay. Oh, she's got a bandage on her back, on her butt. She's got a long mechanical arm. She can single tar target Rubik's Cube or this thing. Will that... Let's see. No status. 
We know that. Okay. Ability. Basic attack. System warning. Deals quantum damage to 60% of her attack. Her skill. Oh, Jesus. Allow challenges. There's a 76 base chance to add one weakness. Uh, one weakness of on-field character type to an enemy. This also reduces the enemy's damage resistance to that weakness type for 20 per turn. Okay, she, she's putting some kind of debuff on him. Uh, okay. What's her ultimate here? 86% chance to decrease the target's defense for three turns. At the same time, deals quantum damage. Okay. Well, let's try... I mean, that's going to die anyway, right? Let's try it. Okay. So that's air and ice. Oh, I have ice. Okay. All right. He was weak to ice, so he's dead. Okay. Cool. We didn't get hurt, but we'll... We'll take the heal up and store it. Let's try to hit this guy hard. Wham! Okay, we got quantum. I'm not sure what swords means. That must just mean physical uh, slash. That's lightning. So she's quantum. Let's do those. She's lightning. We'll do that. Um. I can hit both if they're weak to just swords. Oh, he's dead anyway. But let's do it. We'll double smash him. Holy fuck. Cool. Alright, now we get a shield at the beginning for next fight. Fork in the road, huh? I got this. Wanna pick one first? Give your beloved instincts a try? Uh. Is she telling me to choose? Technically, she's asking her companion to choose. The record will continue forward, even if you do not take an action. Wrong choice. The correct answer is the path on the right. Interesting. She go through it? No, she just goes over there. Hmm. Oh! Oh, what the hell is this? Oh. Okay. Occurrence. Hmm, not what we're looking for. It's a bait signal. Uh, why would her to put something like this inside the simulated universe? Doesn't she find it annoying when she has to find something herself? Never mind. I miscalculated. Let's try another sector. She's actually on the correct path. She just needs to continue a little further. I trust that she too will realize this soon. Hmm. Why are you so sure? What has happened is destined to happen again. That was my conclusion after having met her. Stellar on Hunter Silverwolf. We fought against one another before. Herda was there as well. She may have mentioned it to you. Hmm. I recall that she won. In Herta's words, there was no loser in that fight. It was more like a test than a duel. She would attack, and then I would defend. Neither of us would give it, gave at all. She wasn't able to break through my defenses, and I wasn't able to stop her from leaving. I never thought our next meeting would take place under these circumstances. I believe the continuation of our last encounter will arrive soon. What the? This was right? This was the right way all along. Heard has got some psychological tactics going on. Seems like we can continue forward. Okay. Occurrence. Oh, I have to go in combat? Hmm. Okay. Weird. Oh, back to the space station again. A riddle. Where's the skip button? Hmm. Oh, it's one of these floor things. Oh, this is bullshit. Uh. All right, let's see. Oh. Wait, what? 
朝でもこんなすぐ餌にかかるなんて I want to try this because I don't know I haven't used it yet Oh, okay, okay. Wham! Take it out of there! Hmm. Oh! Oh, shit. Okay, I don't want to fight that guy. If I don't need to. If I have to go this way and get those little question marks, I'll go this way and get the question marks, right? Oh no, they're on that side. Okay, I do have to fight that guy. Son of a gun. All right, we'll shoot him with the E. There we go. Nice. <laughs> I like that free uh, bash at the beginning. Um, I'm not going to use my, my bonuses on these guys because... Oh, he's weak to quantum. Let's get him. I might use it on the next one. I want to use it on somebody who's got a... Somebody who's a challenge, because... I might need it. Oh, he hit me! Anybody quantum? Nobody's quantum. Eh, let's just kill that thing. There you go. Whoops, I should have single target, but whatever, he's dead. <clears throat> he's gone, boys. We don't need him. Finally, almost there, huh? There's even a miniature herd over there. Nice. Retriever? What's a retriever? Huh. Downloader. Do I talk to the herder? I guess I do. Oh, we're the same height. Oh, okay. A little narcissistic, isn't she? The whole space station is filled with her face. Portraits, statues, even projections of herself. They're the same height. Okay. I was planning on adding a mustache to her, but the spray didn't work. The entire space station feels like it's made of paper. But her portrait is near indestructible. So she's a doll, or she's in the body of a doll. She's a real person, but she's the same height. <laughs> she's talking about the portrait in the elevator room, no? Herda's commissioned me to design an encryption tool for her. Seems she ended up using it on her own portrait. She said she's almost there. That's correct. The ether cartridge data is in the next room. Our pursuit is coming to an end. I have a wonderful feeling about this. Yes, that encourages feeling has persisted throughout this long pursuit. She came for the Stellaron, but showed a strong interest in the Curios. And just as we found out about the existence of the Aether Cartridge, she just so happened to show up in the simulated universe. I must admit, this feels like less of a chase and more of a chance encounter. I recall a story about Punk Lord. It is said that graffiti is a special kind of symbol there. Hackers see reality as a magnificent game and attempt to finish the stage. We know his life. Oh, Whether it be for competition or joy, they leave a trail in the places they visit. One symbol after another, link up to become a long, long journey that writes the game of life. Not the actual game of life, not the board game, that's copyrighted. We're talking about different life. And would this ongoing affair not be part of such an endeavor? Perhaps this is all nothing more than a game she's decided to play with us. In which case, let's just let us accompany her to the end. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Boss fight. Oh shit. Oh, uh, can we E? Maybe we can E. Let's see. If it moves. E him. Oh fuck, I missed twice. I got him. Third time. Oh, nice. Oh, that hurt. Well, life's life. Okay, where's your part? 
Get our defenses in first. Alright. Now we can play. She has an ultimate. Let's do it. User banned? Is that what it said? It went really quick. I want him as single target. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. It's doing like a virtual attack thing. Um, still her turn. Um... Defense down or quantum attack? I'll do defense down. Weak to lightning. Perfect. <laughs> and we get him again. Uh, let's give you an Ultra Bash. Wham! Thank you. Now we hit him again. Uh, let's freeze you up. Oh, she gets to kill him. Cool. Wham! Battle over. Look, we found it. The ether cartridge is here. It's perfectly intact. Uh, but... There's an unwelcome third party here with us. If what we are seeing constitutes past images of Silver Wolf, then for her to have made it this far would have entailed the disappearance of the cartridge. We can only assume that the facts don't align with the theory. I believe that she was indeed able to hack into Herta's office, but she didn't stay there for very long. After all, even the best hacker wouldn't be able to find a specified target in the vast ocean of the simulated universe's data. Unless... Unless she had someone to guide her there. Of course. You want to explain it to her first? I can see the confusion in her eyes. The final results are on the display table, young madam. Take a closer look if you wish. We have plenty of time left. I will answer any question that you may have. Hmm. Um, so she's actually... You've guessed correctly. The person that stands before you is tonight's starring role. She left herself a back door in the office, performed a proxy hack the moment you entered the simulated universe and found a way to continue alongside us. I must say, she really is a masterful actor. Misdirection is always the most effective method. Uh, you knew everything from the start. I'm sorry. Herta forbade me from disclosing any information beforehand. She made me clear that knowledge would not be paramount to this operation, but rather the lack of it. However, the way I see it, the most important elements were dedication and sincerity. The actions of Mr. Leonard drew the target right in. Well then, were you satisfied with the simulated universe's journey? Miss Silverwolf. You knew it all along, didn't you? I knew it would be hard to fool you. All that talk you were spouting along the way was meant for me, wasn't it? It's a joy and honor to have opportunity to face off against you once again. Herta said that this cartridge would be able to lure in the biggest fishes in the universe. And she was right. So the business about shutting down the universe and the argument with Herta was all just an act. You did all that to lure me in. That is up to you to interpret. Herta and I have always been frank with one another. Sharp conversations of that nature happen on a regular basis. It wouldn't be fitting to call it an act. Miss Silverwolf is truly a talented hacker. Not only does she calculate everything ahead of time, she has numerous variables and aces still to play. 
News of my sudden visit to the space station was probably the only uncontrollable variable in her plan. And with my arrival came the nightmare of shutting down the simulated universe that would have ruined her plans and all her preparations. That's why she had to take the opportunity before it was gone. You know everything about this encounter. Everything? No, no, you're wrong. About the most important part. You think I came here out of desperation? But I've been bursting with excitement this whole time. Do you know how happy I was when you showed up, Skrillum? I haven't had the thrill of a formidable opponent in such a long time. The Legion is nothing but a bunch of cavemen, and the IPC were a disappointment. Only this society is the talent to provide me with a fun challenge. Reality is nothing but a game. But what's the point of a game if it can't make you happy? An invitation letter and a challenge letter were sent to me from two geniuses. How could I not accept them? Would you have turned them now? You're confident you will be able to get out of this in one piece. That's right. And I'm bringing this with me. Oh. The Earther cartridge! Oh, a copy. You've completed it while we were talking just now. Why else would I entertain such small talk? You're not the only ones stalling for time. I'm guessing that Herda is hiding in a corner somewhere trying to pull off a reverse hack from where I hacked in. You, on the other hand, are responsible for taking me head on, just as you did last time. Hey, there's a train. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to it. How do you plan on stopping me this time? Are you going to turn the simulated universe into a black box? Or are you going to work with the IPC and put together a cross-galactic encirclement? Skrullum, will I be able to see your true strength this time? The long-awaited result will finally be determined. There will only be one victor today. Please, let me have some fun this time, okay? My apologies, Miss Silverwolf, but none of what you were hoping for will be happening today. You may leave now. What? Leave? But why aren't you trying to catch me? Don't you want to cuff me and exile me to some distant planet? Your creativity has proven interesting. However, I have nothing to do with your quarrel with the space station. Ergo, I will not stop you. I'm going to leave with this cartridge then. It's just a duplicate. Correction. Not only is the one in your possession a duplicate, but so is the one here. The real curio was transferred elsewhere at the very beginning. Conclusion. You may share that data freely. What if I attack the space station again? It would have nothing to do with me, but I must warn you, it is likely that somebody would step forward to stop you. Not this girl, but someone. Then, what if I were to destroy the simulated universe right now? I'm sorry, but that simply isn't possible. Ether editing isn't capable of destroying an entire universe. What's the point of this then? You guys went out of your way to put together this trap but don't plan on doing anything at all? That's right. This way, the game that you so carefully orchestrated is now pointless. It's, is it not? There's no point in a game if it's no longer fun. Silver Wolf, I know that you're after. I know what you're after. The IPC shackles won't be able to hold you and jail is but another game to you. Herder and I came to this understanding. We will no longer enable you and give you what you need. How boring. However, Herta felt this would be easy, too easy on you if you wanted to add something of her own. And that is why, at this very moment, she has reversed hacked you and located all of your internal network accounts. A total of 76. A very impressive number. That's so many Gmails! How would it be if the IPC were to freeze all of them, including your game records? What? Hold on a minute. 
And she logged out. How hasty of her. So, games are always fun in the eyes of a child, but to an adult, they are but one among many ways of solving a problem. It's all about time we were on our way. Oh, it's about time we were on our way. Challenge complete! Nice, man. I return. Not Silver Wolf's game records. No! Her Xbox Game Pass save files. Oh, shit, man. Cool. Is that it? How is it? All right, let's take a quick look. That's still probably Pom Pom. We're not doing that. All right, what's this one? Punk Lord's mentality. We're still going, kind of. Okay. We can talk to Herta. A flawless victory. Hope you caught a glimpse of Herta's awesomeness, kiddo. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. It, was it all part of your plan? Naturally. I could care less about what happened with the space station, but I will surely repay the favor tenfold to anyone who dares to taunt me. I already noticed, notified someone at the IPC to freeze all of her accounts. She's probably crying in front of her computer right now. Nice. Oh, okay. Back to screw them. <laughs> Ergato. Thank you, young madam, and your Mr. Leonard's contributions were necessary to our victory. Do you have any other questions regarding the incident? Uh, no, no, no. Wait, what's this one? Please, let's go away. Uh, what is the ultimate expression? What is the ultimate meaning of the existence of the universe? Hmm. There is no answer to that question, my friend. It holds a different meaning for everyone. To sedimental, organistic life forms, it could be the first falling leaf in the change of seasons or the marks carved onto someone through the passage of time. To the swarm that follows its insects, it might be the sight of fresh meat in their compound eyes and the restless thirst for sustenance. Why is it so hard to read? And for me, perhaps the image of symbols woven together, still able to move the heart, something great that you call emotions. Of course, I've also heard that the answer is nothing more than a two-digit number, being 24. Alright, that's all. Well, young madam, our destinations may differ, but there are still countless opportunities for our paths to cross. The pursuit of knowledge will always be the best driving force for trailblazing. Blaze it, 420. Give me some rewards! Stupid Leonard. So the reason Madame Herta wanted me to continue the investigation was to lure her out of hiding? That never crossed my mind? Did she know about the traps the hacker left in the space station from the very beginning? You were bait, Leonard. Oh, she said I did a good job. Can you believe it? I've just been acknowledged by Madame Herta. <laughs> I can't hit those levels. This is something I'll remember for the rest of my life. I don't have to worry about being fired anymore. <laughs> Fucking Leonard. This chapter has come to a conclusion. Come, let us choose the final back door. It's your back door. Uh-oh. Alright, where do I have to go for that? Is that over here? Oh, who's going to pay for a one dollar gay pass trial? Reading is hard. That's why I use English voice acting. Fuck that. Uh, never. Never. You watch the image of the ball slowly dissolve and disappear, and that's the end of it. Huh? Oh, cool. That's neat. It's gone. It's all gone. They seriously left nothing behind. They went too far this time. Too far. Oh, cool. We can get a, a screener shot. That's awesome. Oh, Kafka. All right, stop with the tantrum. You're not a kid anymore. I am not throwing a tantrum. Uh, anyway, what are you going to do now? Hack an IPC branch nearby and get your accounts back? Uh, if it were just one or two accounts, sure. I kind of overdid it this time. 
I lost basically everything. A branch office probably won't be enough. I'm gonna have to make a trip to Pierpoint. Going alone? That's the IPC's headquarters. Yeah. Just me. Why, do you want to come with? I probably won't be able to. I'm in Elo's next script. Did you forget? Alright, that story doesn't sound like it fits me. You guys have fun. I hope you have a good time in Pierpoint as well. Don't worry, I've already got an idea. You see that cloud diner just two kilometers from here? A few temps from the building materials logics department just stepped in. I'm gonna go and become their friend. Get a move on already. I would have thought you would at least want to spend time with that cartridge you were assessing about. For your switch. I told you I'm not obsessing with it. Besides... There's fun to be had along the way. She starts running through the... Afoglo neon lights. Just as ho she had acknowledged... What the fuck? She starts running through the neon lights just as she had left her home world that night, sprinting towards the stars. Starlight elongates her shadow, illuminating the history of Punk Lord. Those who append the lengths, their vows remembered by the stars. The earliest role playing gamer said games are about growth. The calm tactical strategy gamer said games are about the victories. The rebellious collaborative gamer said games are about encounters. The loving narrative gamer said games are about the remembrance. And now the young cosmic adventure gamer, she said, a game is a game. That's all there is to it. Sweet. We did it. Yeah, that's a good YouTube thumbnail. Visitor verification. Silver Wolf has become something. It went too fast. New message from Leonard. Hey, friend, you're still at the space station, right? I want to talk to you about something. No, I'm gone. Not at the space station anymore. I won't be coming back ever. <laughs> Don't be like this. It's been a while since that incident. I'm still very worried about the space station cybersecurity. I want to prepare while I can. I've got an idea that I want to run past you. Let's talk about the details face to face. I'm outside the office. Please make sure. No, I don't want to do more. I'm done. We just finished. A visitor to the express. You might come across her when you return to the express. Okay. So she's the bad guy and who they're after, but we can go talk to her. It's kind of weird. Said she can show up in the express and give you free jades. Oh, okay. Oh God, he's right there. Oh man, what time? It's almost 4.30. We're almost there, boys. We're at the end of the day. End of the stream coming up. Oh, that was fun. I like that one. That was a good one. Complete the mission, Punk Lord Mentality. Hey, and we did. Messages. Um, we, maybe we'll go back there and look. Because we did we did level up, didn't we? Maybe we can get some level rewards. Um, how do you go back to the space station again? Is it this? Uh, or not the space station. It's the train. No, this isn't right. Uh, oh shit. I did it before. Oh, that's what we just looked at. Mm. Oh, what's the thing going on here? Stellar and Hunters aren't bad guys. Stellar and Hunters are the same path as the Express crew. But instead of being lawful good, they're, lawful, they're neutral anti-heroes. Yeah, but she's a bad guy. We were chasing her, trying to get her. We couldn't get her. She escaped. She shouldn't be just hanging around. That we can go just grab her. How do I get back to the train? I totally forget. We don't need to do any warps. We're waiting for a specific banner to come through. That's my backpack. That's my group. That's my people. It's got to be... Uh, huh. Gotta be something with navigation, doesn't it? I 
don't think it's this. What is this? Oh, it is pom pom. Oh, it is. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So it was. Well, okay. We have to get there. Parlor car. Okay. All right. Let's look around for a second. Oh, visitors verification. After completing related Trailblaze missions, Trailblaze continuities and companion missions, you can send out invitations to your companions. You might run into them after returning to the Express. That's Himiko. Okay. Oh, there she is. But she's still just a, a figment. Yahoo. Hello. You blinked your eyes and made sure that the person you just saw was Silver was. She wasn't supposed to be here. Be here. What are you doing on the Express? What do you mean, what am I doing? Everyone else is here. Can't I be too? Relax, I'm just dropping by for a visit. I was hacking through the dark regions of the interstellar network a while ago and happened to see a signal from the Astral Express. So I thought I'd stop by and check it out. What you see in front of you is a hologram. Just as harmless as the whale holograms you see floating around the Express. Here, see for yourself. She poked your stomach. The part of her finger that touched your clothes disappeared. Seeing is believing, right? If you're still not convinced, you can cut off the network connection on the Express and it'll disappear into thin air. So you turn it back on, of course. Oh, she did give me ten. Cool. I don't remember what this does. Oh, I create things. Right, 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 right. If I need to make... Oh, it's my recycler. Simple first aid. Oh, okay, okay. What was the one that really helped me out back there? Uh, I'll make a couple of these. I'll make six. There we go. Alright, that'll help out. I have to do what I don't want to do. Maybe we can fast forward through it. Let's see. Ugh, God. I'm not even... No. Uh, here we go. Sweet! Oh, we got one. Okay, we only got one, but still. That's not bad. When do I get a good set? 26, I get a boot. Oh, they don't show me past. Okay. Alright. That was cool. That was fun. Hmm. SW is in the corner. Yep, there I saw her. Okay. Cool. That was neat so far. Oh, what do we get up here? Oh, I guess I'd never done that. Damn. Okay, we got the whole thing. Sweet. Oh, well, that was cool. Maybe we should end right here. Is there anything else we should do before this? I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that, uh, that needs to be done. It looks like we got almost everything. Pretty damn complete. We'll look at the warp. I'm not going to do the warp, but we'll look at it. Just to see. we got a hell of a lot of these to turn in. We're waiting for specific future characters to come up. Alright, we're going to wait on that. Yeah, I think that was pretty cool, boys. Most of the characters have companion missions. And then you get Jades when they come to the Express. Oh, cool. Okay. I think we did pretty good. We got a nice three hours today. Plus last week's uh, stream, we're going to put them together as a mega stream and we'll put it out on uh, on the tubes for anybody who wants to watch the gotchas. Um, we'll have to talk about what we want to do next Thursday. Next Thursday. Again, are we back to uh, Tower of Fantasy or are we going to continue on here? I don't know. I've got to think about it, boys. got to think about it. But anyway, um, we played Star Rail today oh. in the afternoon for a good three hours. And uh, had a good time, man. Beat some nice missions. Met some new characters. Uh, got our world level up. That was nice. And beat uh, one of the main bosses in uh, Savrog there. So that was very, very cool. If you are coming by and checking this out, check us out over on youtube at upm gaming help give a subscription we're trying to get this channel up we want to get to a thousand subscribers and open the channel 
up and be able to do things on there. If you want to hang out where we are today, Thursday afternoon, most times if I can, or Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, we all do streams around uh, roughly 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time till about maybe one in the morning, depending on the day, if I got to get up for work or not. UPM underscore gaming, just hang out in the chat. You can give us advice on the game, help us out with uh, what's going on. Backseat game, that's one of our main things and whatnot. Thank you to everybody who come by today and uh, on last night as we played uh, more of the Pokemon. Check that out. That's on the channel right now live. And that's it, boys. I got to take off and go run some errands. Um, but we'll be back on... We might do tonight. Tonight is, is actually Thursday night, so we might come back on and do a little bit of something. We'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye-bye.